Hello friend, Joe at the office here. Today I want to talk about how to fix the uh, com, common control 32.ocx missing reference error in Microsoft Access. Um, so the error, if you've found it, looks a little bit like this. Um, your name of your database or project contains a missing or broken uh, reference to the file com control 32.ocx and then it'll have a version number um, so you have to fix this to make sure your old database project uh, is going to work uh, for your user and these missing reference uh, errors that you get in access usually are due to an older database database that was developed uh, 2007 or before version of access and you're trying to put it on a computer with a new install of Windows 10 and it has Office 365 or 2010 or later and uh, so these references are broken because they do not exist in your SysWow 64 folder or your System32 folder uh, so you need to determine which one it belongs into so the common controls 32.ocx is a visual basic runtime file for the common controls 5.0 reference and it's used in older versions of microsoft access um, the process is known as a windows common control controls activex control dll and it belongs to the com ctl um, so you need to find this file the correct version that you want and that's why I don't um, post it for you or where to go because the version may vary based on what you need or what the error message says so version 1.3 is what we need for our system <clears throat> so you may be able to find this version of the file on a computer that has an older version of office installed but you can also download the file from the internet and there are many sites to download this file just search for it on the internet all right so once you download the files they will well i downloaded quite a few actually but the common controls 32 is the one that we're looking for uh, you may get uh, a microsoft access error that has these other ocx files listed in it <clears throat> but for now let's just focus on this one i'm gonna copy it and then i will navigate my Windows Explorer to the C drive Windows SysWow 64 and paste it and you need administrator permission uh, to do this so we will grant that and the OCX is right here so as you can see it's pretty old 2004 uh, and then well that's not good enough because you need to register it so to register, you need to open up an elevated command prompt. So right click uh, Windows PowerShell. Uh, you may just have a command administrator command prompt uh, there as you right click the Windows Start button. Uh, and then type uh, reg server 32. And then let's go ahead and copy this location paste it here finish the file path it is comctl32.ocx and hit enter and as you can see we have succeeded in registering this DLL this OCX file uh, with Windows and therefore be able to be used by Microsoft Access so if we try to test this database that I was having an issue with. You can see it opens up with no uh, no error messages now. So yeah, I guess that's it. So nothing else really here. If you uh, if this was helpful to you, please hit a like uh, and subscribe if you enjoy this content and so I can continue making it. Uh, leave a comment if you 
um, you know, have something to say. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.